We have a really strong commitment to practicum and internship training. So in the first three years of our five-year program, students do what's called a practicum placement. So two days a week, they're out at a clinical site doing practicum work. Three days a week, they're here doing classes. For their fourth and fifth year, students do a formal internship. And this is an APA-required element of graduate training in the United States. Um, in most graduate programs, students finish all their coursework, go away for a year, and do a year-long internship that they apply to through um, a national match program. We actually have an alternate process here at Widener, so we have what's called an exclusively affiliated internship. So our internship program is accredited by the APA, but students don't have to apply. They're automatically in the internship program if they're accepted into our graduate program. So we have several clinics and we have a charter school, and all of them have internship and practicum sites affiliated with them. So we have a child therapy clinic, we have organizational development services, we have a biofeedback clinic that has an internship and a practicum, and in fact the Widener University Counseling Center is right here on campus and they take a good number of interns every year. In addition, because they're at those sites three days a week and with us two days a week, when they're with us, they bring some of their case material back here. We lead case conference seminars with the students and we're able to talk with them about what's going on at their sites. They're able to bring that in turn back to their sites. So there's a really nice sort of bi-directional relationship and I think that benefits students in the long run.